explore. And we should preserve this one. Yeah, absolutely. So for us it's very important that yeah, we leave no trace. Everything we bring in, we bring out. Mm -hmm. We only leave footprints. Be respectful. Be respectful, yeah. yeah. You know, I am genuinely blown away by just how much respect these guys have for the nature here. And, you know, I think it's fair to say that Thailand has quite a complicated relationship when it comes to its diverse landscapes and natural heritage. And as a result, it has had to learn a few tough lessons along the way. And yet there are efforts to persuade many more of us to come and see these wild spaces. The tricky part will be allowing that to happen without destroying the very thing that makes Thailand's environment so special. And I'd like to hope they'll find a way to get it right. Hello there. For the start of this weekend, it's going to feel like we've stepped back into winter rather than spring. And it's all due to the strength and the direction of the wind. A cold northwesterly, which will feed in a rash of frequent heavy showers as well. And it's all because we've got low pressure that's pushing its way north and east and spiralling around that low in an anti-clockwise direction is a cold northwesterly wind. Frequently packed isobars, the strongest of the winds further north. Clear skies though over the next few hours will allow those temperatures to fall away. So a chilly start to our Saturday morning. And then as we start Saturday, frequent rash of showers to the north. But we will see them pushing across Wales, central and southern England as we go through the morning too and some of the showers heavy with rumbles of thunder. So through the middle part of the afternoon we're still likely to see some showers across England and Wales most frequent further north and west across Northern Ireland and up into Scotland and yes with elevation above 500 metres we could see some snow as well. Now the wind will play its part too. It's going to be a strong north to northwesterly wind at times, gusts in excess of 40 to 55 miles an hour in the north, but even further south we're looking at 30 to 40 mile an hour and that is going to really have an impact on the feel of the weather. So your thermometers may suggest 9 or 10 degrees, but it's unusual to be talking about it feels like at this time of year, but the wind chill will have an impact. It'll feel much colder and really cold considering we saw temperatures peaking at 19 degrees just a few days ago. The showers will tend to fade as our low continues to pull away and we actually see this little ridge of high pressure building. So I've got some good news for you. Sunday should be a quieter day before the next area of rain waits in the wings. So there's a risk of a few showers running down through North Sea coast and here a little bit more of a breeze with generally lighter winds more sunshine coming through and it will be a drier day, 9 to 12 degrees, the highs feeling a little warmer. But the cloud and rain gathers out to the west and look what's in store for the week ahead. It stays decidedly unsettled with a glimpse of something a little bit more promising as we head towards Easter. <laughs>